This is one of the rarest steaks in the world. Known as olive wagyu, it costs over $500 a pound, which is almost 60% more expensive than other high-grade cuts of wagyu. Produced by feeding wagyu cows a special feed made from olives, it's one of the most expensive meats you can buy. The technique of feeding olives to wagyu cows was actually only developed in recent decades. And the steak wasn't always this pricey. So, what makes olive wagyu different from other wagyu? And why is it so expensive? The sun is rising over Shodoshima in Japan's inland sea. Masaki Ishii has been raising cattle here for half a century. Shodoshima, literally small bean island, was once famed for its Izuki beans. But after olive trees were introduced from Greece just over a century ago, it became more famous as the home of Japan's oldest olive groves. Wagyu beef is already known for its intense marbling and high levels of oleic acid, both of which make the meat extra tender and flavorful. Masaki set out to create a wagyu even richer in oleic acid. で、but instead of using fresh olives, Masaki turned to olive pomace, the residue from olive oil production. Doing so allowed him to recycle a waste product from one of Shodoshima's major industries. Olive pomace still contains a lot of oil. Drying it is a difficult and costly process, one that took Masaki almost six years to perfect. あの、日本一高い資料だね。あの、Around two months before the cattle is shipped out, Masaki starts mixing the dried pomace into their feed every day. あの、たまたま 
それで行こう言うね。ねまあ二百五十二二ヶ月以上。Every morning, Masaki comes in to check on his cows while they're still asleep. w h i l e other varieties of wagyu are typically sold to be processed at 24 to 26 months, olive wagyu doesn't ship out until 30 months. The longer raising time and high cost of the feed make olive wagyu difficult to come by, but despite the limited supply, it has become especially popular with chefs. The meat is えー、当レストランのシグニチャーディッシュとして用意させていただいてますのは、えー、オリーブビーフになっております前菜からメインまで、えー、全ての皿にオリーブビーフを使いますお値段は3万円から3万5千円ぐらいって今のところ計画しています、えー、オリーブビーフなんですけれども最近は出回る量も少なくなってきました人気が世界中で上がってきたみたいで、えー、値段も一緒に上がってきている印象があります When Masaki first started experimenting with olives, he kept it a secret from his buyers. I was a little bit of 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 a An outbreak of foot and mouth disease in Miyazaki Prefecture devastated Japan's livestock industry. Despite successful efforts to contain the disease locally, the damage was done. Countries like the United States suspended beef imports from Japan. Disaster struck again with the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami of 2011. As Japan struggled to recover and rebuild its economy, Masaki looked towards strengthening his prefecture's beef production. He led the charge towards working with more local olive farmers. In 2012, other farmers on Shodoshima started following Masaki's methods to raise olive fed cattle. Just one year later, olive wagyu began shipping to places outside of Shodoshima and Kagawa Prefecture. Today, There are about 2,500 olive fed cattle on Shodoshima. Still, this is nothing compared to places like Kagoshima or Miyazaki, where high quality wagyu production has been taking place for decades. On Masaki's farm, there are just 20 head of cattle. To reach this goal, the cattle farmers of Shodoshima need help from the local olive producers. The olive industry is a great benefit. If you have a lot of olive oil, it will be very good. It もう諦めんとこれを絶対ものにしたい成功させたい科学のものにしたいという気力が非常にありました。